Joey Waller joining us right now, and this is interesting. Yogi Berra, a romantic. Sure. Who would have known? Yeah, that's why we're here. <laughs> oh. It's a News 12 New Jersey exclusive. More than six decades ago, Yogi Berra was writing love letters while courting his eventual wife, Carmen. And when those letters recently resurfaced, well, as Yogi would say, yes, it was deja vu all over again. If the babe were alive, even he would call America's love affair with Yogi Berra Ruthian. But before winning a record 10 World Series, this Hall of Famer was winning the heart of his wife of 63 years, Carmen. A courtship fueled by love letters from the former Yankee catcher, now displayed at the Yogi Berra Museum at Montclair State University. I guess Carmen found them. We always knew that there were love letters, but she wouldn't uh, make them public. She, it was very difficult to get them away from her, and we convinced her that they would have a lot of meaning for people. My first reaction to looking at them was, my, what outstanding penmanship for a man who didn't go past the eighth grade. <laughs> from sons Dale, Tim, and Larry, the Barras have 11 grandchildren. The eldest is Lindsay Barra, a native of Montclair, her grandparents' longtime home. This senior writer for ESPN the magazine has the athletic Barra genes, and Lindsay says to old number eight, Carmen is number one. I think it's pretty amazing that the letters led to 63 years of marriage. I think it's amazing that my grandmother saved them after all these years. Um, and I think it's really cool that we get to look at them and so many people that come in here get to look at them and see what that kind of relationship is like. Yogi's letters were written in 1948, the year before the Bearers married, some on hotel stationery. One says, I will always love you as long as I live. There will never be another girl but you. I can't sleep nights because I'm always thinking of you, darling. In another, Yogi writes, I can't wait to see you. Honey, I didn't write to you yesterday. I'm sorry. My grandpa is nothing if not direct and to the point, and he says what's on his mind. So the fact that that's coming out in those love letters. And the stationery was small, so he didn't have, you know, big pages to write. He had to come right out and say it. He is exactly the same at home as he is everywhere else. What you see is what you get with him, and it's one of my favorite things about him. When Lindsay told Yogi she interviewed a handsome tennis player, Yogi said, you should date him. Lindsay said, Grandpa, he dates a swimsuit model. And Yogi said, you got swimsuits. If you're talking about the Yogiisms, he talks like that all the time. And you get one, you know, two, three, four times a day. Dale and Timmy will throw them out. I'll throw them out. My brother will say something. and Everyone will say, oh, that's a Yogiism. If a man wrote you handwritten <laughs> love letters, would that win your heart? I would probably run for the hills. <laughs> Lindsay loved seeing Carmen in this Halloween costume, but says Yogi won't wear one. Asked who he could dress up as, Lindsay says he'd be Yogi. Sounds like a chip off the old Yogiism block. Oh. They all have Yogiisms in that family. That last <laughs> shot, by the way, is Lindsay with Grandpa when he managed the Yanks. She says he always made time to come over for a hug. Oh, she, she was lovely. She was great. I, oh, fantastic. That's so touching. I really enjoyed that story. Thank you. They just don't, I don't think they make them like that anymore. I personally wouldn't run for the hills. I would, embr I would embrace him. Well, but she's like, doesn't want anything to do with that. Well, you can send it over text now. Uh, oh, Joey. No need to handwrite it. <laughs> Forget that handwriting. <laughs> Got it. Thanks, Joey. Nice story.